Hi guys, it has been a while. So um, trying to get back into art journaling right now. I actually took a month off or so from doing any art whatsoever. Um, we were just really busy as a family between the holiday and then we've homeschooled for the past six years and two of our kids decided to go to school. And so we were getting them ready and getting into a new routine. Um, and I have to get up early in the, early in the morning um, in order to do that. So I've been exhausted, to be honest, and just adjusting to the new life that we have now. But I wanted to sit down anyway to show you, I guess, um, what it can look like when you're maybe tired, which I am, and you've been not making art for a while, which I have, and you just kind of want to get going. So I gathered some things. I don't really have much of a plan. I just have some things in a color palette, like neo colors and like a tempera paint stick. Got some collage paper and there's a stencil over there and things to help me glue stuff down. And then I just put out like a primary palette on my paint palette for colors. And that's pretty much it. So again, I don't know what I want to do. So I'm just going to start doing things. And right now I feel like making some stripes. Kind of the other thing that put me off uh, making art too, and this isn't to say that people can't do this or shouldn't do this, but like you go on Instagram and you see at the end of the year, everybody posting like their top nine and what they're doing to start off the year and challenges and all of those things. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't do them. I'm not saying people shouldn't have them, but if you get overwhelmed seeing that kind of stuff, um, don't worry about it because I know it overwhelmed me. I almost sat down to make something the other day and I went on there and I was just like, oh my God, I feel like I haven't done anything in so long. And it was just kind of putting me off um, making anything at all. Just mess some of this up. And just mixing up some corally peachy colors, I guess. Just to start getting some paint down on here. And most of you probably already know this, but this is just a jelly plate and just using it to pick up the excess and move it around. I like when things look a little bit messy because when things start looking a little bit too just so early on or intentional, um, I find it makes me start wanting to be intentional after that. And so I tighten up and so the longer things can just stay sort of intuitive and messy, the better off for me anyway. So again, I'm not really thinking. It's coming in. You want to know how to make nice greens. Sometimes not mixing blue and yellow, um, but black and yellow can give you like a really nice natural color. And it'll automatically go with everything because that same yellow is in all these other colors. So if you're wondering also how to harmonize your colors, that's another tip is to kind of mix a little bit of all the colors into each other or a few of them. And I sort of over the last week had all these visions of doing wintry type pages. And then I sat down today and started picking a color palette and I was like this looks a lot more like spring, but that's okay. Right now I'm just kind of covering up a little bit more of the background so things look a little bit more opaque. 
Um, I tend to use a mixture of fluid and medium body paint because I like paint that spreads easily, but um, the one downside to that is it can become more of a semi-opaque and you need a little bit more to cover things up. The cool thing about this is if you ever want to do this, it's Liquitex medium body and Liquitex fluid paint that they just came out with. Um, and the benefit of it, aside from having a paint that's really easy to spread and pretty inexpensive, is uh, you can draw right on it, just like it was gouache. And this is just giving it a little bit more contrast. If you add a really light light um, or a really dark dark, it just helps to make some areas pop. And then you can kind of see where what you're doing and where you might want to put something next. All right, I got some papers here that I'm going to stick down. I tried to pick mostly um, neutral looking papers for the most part. It's easier to work that way if you have mostly neutral or you're working uh, monochromatically because then you can just have a pile of papers that are easy to pick from. So in adding collage, I'm just going through and adding things where I feel like just to add some layering, it's not really important where anything goes. It's just giving yourself some more interest, something to respond to. And I tend to start overthinking it a little bit, but sometimes it's Hard to get out of your own head and I find too is if you haven't been creating in a while it's hard to it's a little bit hard to kind of get going creating intuitively again because you start thinking too much because if you think about it making arts just like anything else even like a sport there's a certain amount of muscle memory that goes into it even for just sort of your visual perception of what you're seeing so it can kind of, I think sometimes when you come back to it, you're a little bit slower and that's okay. And a little bit tighter. Also, my neighbors are doing construction. They are literally taking the roof off of their house right now. Um, I did not know they were gonna do that today, but I didn't wanna put off making another video. So if you can hear construction noises and it's distracting you, there it goes, I apologize. I feel like I'm kind of cheating right here using the same thing. This might be fun. I really like this paper and I only have, I think, two sheets of it, so I try not to use it, which is bad. Shouldn't save everything. I might put that on after. I think I'll put some paint on because that's what I'm feeling like needs to happen now. Some of this I just want to integrate and if you add some paint, want this to be lighter. Um, over it, it pushes some of the collage into the background and unifies sort of 
what is happening on the page because now if I if I wanted to put focal points on right now it would be competing with all the collage focal points wouldn't really be focal points so if I tone these down a little I think I'm gonna do that later with a dark I don't need to cover the whole thing it's just about covering some of it up because this lets your eye move around a little bit easier What I'm going to do now is come in with a dark. So I'm just taking like a phthalo blue and mixing some black into it. And it makes like a kind of a navy blue. And I can all my, I can already feel myself sort of tightening up and being unsure of what my next move is. I'm trying not to do that because anything you don't like, you can cover it up. And I tend to forget my own lessons. I'm going to use a makeup sponge for this and do some stenciling. I feel like I'm not loving this yellow in here. I like little pops of it, but it feels a little less grungy and a little bit more like tropical fruit. And so I just want to come in and cover some of that up. Now I'm just doing this quickly so I stop thinking about it and just get something down. It always looks better when you don't think about it. Now the thing about this image was it was printed on tissue paper. So now I have to be mindful of what's underneath it. I could put it down like that, but it's gonna go into the background too much. So I think I'm just gonna cover some of this up. That'll look cool. It almost look like she has tattoos. And paint is glue. So you don't have to use separate glue if there's paint underneath it. I like when some of the things are a little bit crooked too and everything's not just so. So right now I'm looking at this and it just feels really busy. So I'm going to come back in with paint and cover some of this up. And again, it doesn't mean I have to cover all of it up. It's just covering some up, even just dry brushing and pushing some of this stuff into the background can really um, make those focal points pop a little more. So I'm just going to come through and finish this up with some embellishing. I don't really want to use oil pastels today. I like them, but when you use images 
the oil pastel, when you close the book, can stick. It's really hard to seal it. You can use an aerosol spray. I don't really like bothering with all of that. I don't mind using them in my junk journals because I don't care if the oil pastel gets on other pages, but these are more like um, specific spreads. And so I don't like when they get too messy from things moving around. These are just Neo colors and they're water soluble crayons. I'm just dipping them in a little bit of water to give it a more painterly look. And I think I wanna do the same thing over here. They're just really small. And again, this is just to pull things forward, just adding some accents. I don't want to go too crazy. It's a pretty busy spread anyway. I was just thinking of something I wanted to do, and now I lost it in my brain, and it might not come back. Hmm. I know what I was going to do. Make these bigger. I just, that's better. Sometimes when you make things bigger, it just covers up a little bit more of the busy area and also gives more of a weight and a focal point over here. And I think that looks better. So I hope this maybe gave you some ideas. It's okay if you have been out of making art for a while to just sit down and grab some things and not really know what you're gonna do and just see what happens. It's okay if it doesn't turn out the way you want. Um, I know sometimes people leave videos halfway through and I always feel like the most important things I wanna share, I'm always sharing at the end, but what your art journal looks like, um, in case you don't already know this, it's really not nearly as important as enjoying yourself and what you're making and enjoying your supplies and how you're using them and the way the paint moves and the way you stencil things and using rollers and all that kind of stuff. Whatever it is that you like, that's how you should be creating your how it turns out and what your page looks like is so low on the list. Um, and I know we always wanna make things that are pleasing to us and look beautiful and something that we feel like we can share and other people were, will um, enjoy, but it's okay if it doesn't turn out how you want it to. It's more important that you really, really, really like creating. So again, I hope this was helpful. Hope it gave you some ideas and thanks for watching.